Human mesenchymal mm -hmm. stem cells are important in bone tissue engineering because they are easy to isolate, can be expanded in culture, and also undergo osteogenic differentiation under stimulation. A common approach using this cell is to combine the cell with three-dimensional scaffold in a perfusion reactor system to enhance their osteogenic potential. The primary role of a perfusion reactor is to mitigate the mass transfer limitation and also provide mechanical stimuli to drive the cell down osteogenic lineage. There are two different flow configurations. In the first flow configuration in the perfusion reactor, the flow primarily occurs at the interface outside the scaffold, and the, the shear stress only occurs at the interface between the scaffold and the, and the bulk media. Alternatively, you can drive the media transversely across the scaffold, and in that case, all the cells in the interior of the scaffold will expose to media flow and shear stress. An important property of human mesenchymal stem cell is their ability to secrete ECM and growth factors. And uh, so how these two different flow config configurations impact the accumulation, secretion and the accumulation of ECM and growth factor in three-dimensional scaffold is largely unknown. And that's our the motivation for this study. And uh, we used our in-house perfusion reactor system as it has a very simple design. Had three scaffolds tucked in the grooves in the center of the scaff in the center of the chamber, separating the chamber to upper and the lower channels. And the up each channel has a one inlight and one outlight. So when we perfume, when we pump the media to, through two inlights and the, coming out of the two outlights, the media will perfuse on the surface of the scaffold, uh, parallel to the surface of the scaffold. We call it a parallel flow. Alternatively, we can close one inlight and, the, and one outlight. And the, in this case, the media will be driven transversely across the scaffold and, the, and the generating so-called transverse flow uh, in the system. And the Zhonghong will describe the system setup and example. In the quarter system, we put four identical chambers in a single system and use the dynamic seating with the same passage and same donor. So initial condition in each chamber was identical. After the seeding, we run two chambers with the parallel flow and rest of chamber with the transverse flow over 14 days. After seven days culture, we took out one chamber from each flow configuration and rest of them at day 14, then tested the functional assay. The results are very interesting. The ECM accumulation in the parallel flow is is considerably higher than than, in, than that in the transverse flow. And the, what is the most striking is the accumulation of FGF2, uh, an important growth factor for MSC in, in, the, in two flow configurations. By day seven, FGF2 concentration in parallel flow is uh, over four times higher than what is in the transverse flow. This leads to um, the difference in cell proliferation and the CFU life forming ability. Cells in the in the in the parallel flow maintain a much better proliferation potential and a higher CFU life forming ability. In contrast, cells in the transverse flow are much further down osteogenic lineage as analyzed by PCR comparing to the cells in parallel flow. So together from these results, we think that one important function of media flow in the reactor system is to um, change the cellular microenvironment, the formation of such microenvironment, and, 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 and through it, direct the cell fate. And it should be noted that the shear stress we use in the two flow configuration are considerably lower than what is considered osteoinductive. So the primary reason for the observed difference in cell phenotype change and the two, in two flow conditions are mainly from the differences in their microenvironment. And uh, so in future studies, the changes of microenvironment should be carefully considered in the perfusion reactor system because they, are, uh, they have a significant uh, impact on cell fate uh, in tissue formation process. And uh, our Benio script has a detailed description of the experiment. And uh, thank you and uh, happy reading.